Wildfire is a roller coaster at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. Not to be confused with the RMC in Sweden that has the same name, this Wildfire is a BM sit down coaster. It's the same model as rides like Incredible Hulk, Kumba, and Dragon Con, all of their coasters I've ridden. The thing that makes Wildfire different is that it's not as intense as any of those other three. It's definitely fun and smooth, but overall it doesn't pack in the intensity that those other three coasters do. Sure, it's got some positive forces, most notably on the inversions, but it doesn't really compare to those other three I mentioned. That being said, Wildfire makes up for it in a few other departments. I'm talking mainly about the incredible setting. This coaster is a stunning backdrop of the Ozark Mountains since it's located right at the top of the hill. It's simply beautiful and I love watching it go around the course, especially at sunset. Wildfire is also a terrain coaster, a lot like many other rides at Silver Dollar City. I mentioned the hill that it's on and it definitely uses it to its advantage. Wildfire has a height of 120 feet, but it drops down the mountain so the drop is actually 155 feet. It uses that to reach up to 65 miles per hour and features 5 inversions. It's got a unique layout differing quite a bit from those other sit downs, and I think a big reason it's like that is because of the terrain. I definitely appreciate this uniqueness to it since it gives it a different feeling than those others, even if it lacks somewhat in intensity. But enough about that, let's dive into the experience. Wildfire is located kind of an offshoot of the park, like most of Silver City's major roller coasters. It's on the outskirts. The only other ride it's really close to is the American Plunge Log Flume. I mentioned the beautiful setting and presentation earlier, and there's nothing really like finally seeing the coaster in all its glory, especially with that stunning backdrop. When I was there, Wildfire rarely had a line. I went to the station both times I rode it right away. It's got the typical B&M looper trains over the shoulder restraints with the seatbelt buckled into it, you know the deal. While the front gives a better view, I recommend the back row on this ride since the positives you experience are stronger back there, but the main reason I like the back better is because of the first drop. After dispatching, you dip a bit and ascend the lift hill. At the top, you turn 90 degrees to the left, get a fantastic view of the mountains, and then plunge down a straight drop. This is a difference between Wildfire and a lot of other B&M loopers. I talked a little bit about this in my Dragon Con review, but it's always good when an inversion-focused ride can include some airtime. While I thought Kraken and Dragon Con's first drops were good, Wildfire's is on a whole nother level. It feels very similar to drops on B&M hypercoasters, giving sustained airtime, floater in the front, and even ejector in the back. After the drop, you immediately go up into an Immelman. It's not super forceful, but it's really fun and still packs some decent positives. The next element is a vertical loop, pretty forceful, similar to the Immelman. It's a standard loop that kind of B&M's implemented on a ton of their coasters, and it feels pretty standard here. After that, you turn a bit to the left and enter a Cobra Roll. Normally, I'm not a big fan of Cobra Rolls, but this one's executed pretty well. It's one of the more forceful inversions on the ride, and I really enjoy it. You then traverse an overbank and twist to the left into a, the final inversion, which is a corkscrew. The overbank is paced really well and something you don't really see on B&M loopers, but it's not all that special otherwise. The final corkscrew is pretty whippy. It, along with the Cobra Roll, are probably the two best inversions on the ride, but the Immelman and Loop are really good too. The ride ends with an intense helix into the brakes. Wildfire's only got 40 seconds of prime ride time, but I feel like it's definitely enough lengthwise. The whole coaster is just a solid experience. I love the setting, the first drop, and the inversions, and it's hard to point out anything objectively bad about this ride. Sure, it's not quite as intense as I had hoped it would be, but when you take away expectations and focus on Wildfire for what it is, it's a fun, smooth B&M looper, and that's all you can really ask for. I'm a big fan of this coaster, and I think it rounds out Silver Dollar City's top four with a great ride. It's my least favorite out of the four, but I think that just speaks to all the quality coasters that this park has. So wrapping this up, I'll give Wildfire an 8 out of 10. Like I've mentioned throughout the review, it's not bad by any means, but it just doesn't have that kick to it that a lot of other rides of the same model have, so I think 8's a pretty fair score for it. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to stay tuned to the channel for more coaster content. Goodbye.